off, I would like to say, please ignore my hair, it's air drying, but we're just gonna pretend like it's, you know, my slick back sexy look. Yeah, maybe not. Let's just ignore it altogether. So today I'm gonna be doing another full face of first impressions because we are in the week of full face of first impressions. And again, as usual, as every day, I have no clue what makeup look I wanna do, so let's just jump into it. My eye has been twitching so bad, like could you see, like, it's happening right now. My, ah, it's been just twitching so bad. For my primer today, I'm gonna to be using the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer in hopes of it being something similar to the Becca Backlight Primer. So yeah, I'm just gonna be using this. This is in the shade uh, White or Blanc. This is what the packaging looks like. It's just like a basic tube, squeezy tube packaging. It's twitching again. My eye is twitching so bad. So I've just taken a little bit of the primer, I'm gonna smear it in between my fingers first and then just apply it to my face. So there is some sort of glow to my skin but it's not like the Becca backlight filter. This is more like a subtle glow plus it's very hydrating which is a nice thing because I am very dry. So yes that's what I think about the primer, it is a nice glow but not as much as the Becca backlight filter. For my foundation today I don't even know for how long I've been sitting on this. I'm going to be using the True White Liquid Foundation by ZA or ZA whatever you want to say it. This is in the shade OC30. I was supposed to try these out two months ago and I still haven't because I just hate using samples like these. Like, Can't just people send out samples in small boxes or something of that sort. These these things, I don't like them at all. So hopefully the shade matches me, hopefully, fingers crossed. So I'm just going to be taking that foundation. I'm just going to first dot it on my face. I think this should match me. Oh God, see how messy it gets. The hate is real. To be honest, I'm not a very big fan of the name that they've kept True White Foundation. Like this ain't white, this is skin color. There's nothing such as white, it's skin color. Whew. I don't know when people will understand that not everyone wants to become white. We just want to look like our skin sometimes. So I'm just going to buff this in using a flat top brush. I'm just going like so. After buffing out, I do think it's a little light for me, like a lot light for me. Plus the finish is a little streaky, it's not as flawless as I would have liked it to be. I know it's not about the brush, I've used this brush with a gazillion other foundations, so it's not the brush, but it's the foundation, the finish is a little streaky. Now when my base ain't right, I don't like my makeup that day, so I'm scared for today. I'm scared for today's full face of first impressions. I'm just gonna try and work this in but I'm also gonna like add a little bit of something to it because I don't like the color as it is right now. The coverage however is medium and it, it is buildable I guess because it's pretty good like the coverage is pretty good I have to say that but I'm not very happy with the um, color issue that I have here and I think this is the darkest shade that they have. If I'm not wrong this is the darkest shade that they have which is a bummer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit more of that foundation I'm gonna add this really dark concealer into it to get like my skin shade and I'm gonna layer this up. My base looks so bad. So bad. I can't. I can't. I'm just gonna like remove this. I just cannot. Sorry guys, cannot do with this foundation. Maybe that's why my eye was twitching so bad. Something bad was about to happen and this was it. I'm just removing this base off because it looks so bad. Like it's streaky, it's so streaky. And it's just bad. I don't know whether you guys have used this foundation or not but it's definitely like not working for me at least at all. I'm gonna start all over again. I'm gonna apply my primer because I removed all of it. I'm just gonna reapply my primer. So for my foundation, now I'm gonna use this Kiko Milano Universal Fit Hydrating Foundation. Again, I've been sitting on this for way too long now. And this is in the shade Warm Beige 60. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. 
just a tiny amount not like a lot of foundation the theory behind this foundation is, is that it adapts to your skin shape so it has some color changing beads or stuff into it like something i don't know what so once you like apply it all over your face it will like automatically adjust to what your skin color is as well so i'm just taking a buffer brush and i'm just slowly you know buffing it out now this seems so much better guys the finish is not streaky even though i use like a duo fiber stippling brush which can make any foundation look streaky very easily but this doesn't look streaky at all and the color is a way better match for me and again the coverage is pretty medium you can't see through a lot of my imperfections you can only see through the ones that are very prominent the slight imperfections you cannot see through the coverage is very medium so this is the type of coverage that i like so i'm not going to be building up on it because i don't like a pretty full coverage face i don't i'm not that sort of a person i'm a very medium coverage person for concealer i'm going to be trying out this neutrogena healthy skin 3 in 1 concealer for eyes so this is in the shade uh, which shade are you which shade are you buff 09 buff So I'm going to be using this. It has a nozzle which is a good thing because I always like to just you know go directly with it. So I'm just going to squeeze it a little. I'm going to go directly under my eyes, applying a tiny amount of it first because I'm not too sure how much you require of this. So after I'm done with that, I'm just going to use my fingers to tap it into my skin. This is very thick. It's not a thin concealer, it's very thick. I'm also going on my upper lids and the coverage is pretty damn good guys. I like the concealer. It's thick, it's heavy, it's full coverage, but it's still not, you know, unnatural looking. So I'm just going to go over my eyelids with the brush with which I applied my foundation just to ensure it's all nice and buffed in. I'm going to take that same concealer and apply it a little bit a very tiny amount on the centers of my face as well. to make sure that the centers of my face are highlighted as well and then again taking that same brush just buffing it out then i'm going to go into this wet and wild mega glow contouring palette this is in the shade dulce de lash so i'm going to be taking this highlighting shade and i'm going to set every place that i've highlighted with my concealer there's a lot of kick off as you can see i'm just going to show you again there's a lot of powder that goes flying away I don't know if you can see this or not but I'm just going to be taking this powder and applying it under my eyes to set my under eye concealer. The finish however is pretty good. There's a lot of kick off. Yes, true, but the finish is good and the powder is pigmented. It just makes that area look really airbrushed like you can see my under eyes they're looking quite nice. At least I feel so. Just also applying it to the other areas that I've highlighted. to set that concealer into place. I'm not going to set my foundation because I like the finish of the foundation. For contouring, I'm again using the same palette and the contour shade and I'm just going to slightly contour my face. Again, there's a lot of product kick off when you just like swipe the brush through. So I'm just going to go right here to contour my cheekbones, jawline. But the powder is quite blendable and it's very pigmented as well. which is a good thing and the shades are very pretty like this particular shade is a very good contour shade for my skin type tone dulce de lash sounding french like this or spanish and my eyes twitching again no please no god no more makeup miss hat please or is dulce de lash mexican i have no clue <laughs> For highlighter and blush today I'm finally going to use the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette like oh I don't want to use this it's just so pretty like look how pretty that packaging is I haven't even peeled off the plastic because I am scared that I will ruin the prettiness of this I'm still not going to take off the plastic like the basic Indian things that we do if you buy a new car we don't take off the plastic for one whole month or till it comes off on its own same with every other thing even my watches have plastic on them till it gets removed on its own that's how I am I only god can judge me so don't judge me please thank you <laughs> anyways ah oh, the shit So because I already have champagne pop and I've used champagne pop a lot of times I'm going to be today using Prosecco pop which is this one 
Hopefully you can see that this shine is real guys. So I'm going to be using Prosecco Pop and for my blush, I'm either going to use Rose Spritz or Pample Mousse. I'm not really sure. But first, Prosecco Pop. So I'm just going to go with my pan brush ever so slightly, just that much and then taking it on my cheekbones. gonna do another round of it the glue game is on I thought I couldn't love anything more than champagne pop I think I was wrong Prosecco pop is such a beautiful highlight for Indian skin like even champagne pop is I'm not saying champagne pop isn't beautiful for Indian skin but Prosecco pop is way more beautiful for Indian skin because we are beautifully blessed with that golden bronzy yellow undertones like this is gold you guys so this is my jam for my blush i'm gonna go into pample mousse which is a pretty pink shade i'm gonna go into that one because rose spritz also has like a bit of a highlight factor to it and i already have like uh, prosecco pop on so i don't want to like go for another highlighter so i'm just gonna go for pample mousse and I'm just gonna apply it on my cheeks and I just dipped my brush in and look at that pigment. Pample mousse is so pretty. I like the fact that they've kept all different sort of textures in their blushes like they have like a highlighted blush, a satiny blush and then a matte blush as well. I, I love that fact. It's just somehow made for everyone out there. My face is all done, now let's move on to the eyes. Starting off with eyebrows, I'm going to be using the NYX Eyebrow Gel. This is in the shade Noir or Black, but it looks like a brown in the tube. I'm not really sure how I picked this up because I always pick up like a dark brown. So hopefully this wouldn't like make my eyebrows look funny or anything. So I'm just like squeezing out a little bit of the product and then picking it up from the brush from the tube directly. And then all I'm going to do is in short strokes just start filling my eyebrows in. Not gonna lie, it's extremely difficult to use, be it like squeezing it out, putting it up on a brush or working it in your eyebrows as well because it can definitely be a little overpowering. I feel I picked up a wrong shade, I should have picked up like a dark brown or something. I felt it was a dark brown when I looked at the tube, it didn't look like a black. I read the shade after coming back to India so I have like no clue it was black. On the other hand, it doesn't give you a lot of issue while spreading out which is a good thing so probably a better shade in this one would be a good option. For my eyes, I'm going to start off by using this Kiko Milano Long Lasting Stick Shadow in the shade 36. It's a beautiful pink color with golden reflexes. I didn't try it at the store to be honest with you guys, I just picked it up. I did not even have time to try it first. So I'm just going to be taking this and I'm going to apply it all over my lid area like the moving lid area quite pigmented and it's quite soft as well it's quite creamy i like it this is great for the days when you just want to put like a wash of color all across your eyelids and then just call it a day like for those days this is a really nice product i wish i had picked up more shades in this stick i just have like one shade sad then i'm gonna move on to this nyx avant pop 10 color eyeshadow palette this is what it looks like it has some really fun colors so I cannot like wait to try this on. I'm gonna set my base with this beautiful golden color with pink undertones in it. Now this eyeshadow is rose gold with more rose in it and this eyeshadow is more gold rose gold. So I'm just gonna be picking this shadow up and then applying it all over my lid. What a beautiful combo this is! Oh my god, this is such a beautiful color combination. Like, <gasps> I am dying right now like legit dying right now then i'm gonna pick up this matte brown shade i like the fact that they have colorful eyeshadows as well as matte eyeshadows for transition like these two are matte shadows for the transition colors so i'm just gonna pick up that matte brown shade and i'm gonna put it in my crease area and it's very pigmented There isn't much of a fallout which is a good thing because I hate fallout with all my heart. Then I'm just going to be highlighting under my brow bone with the help of this pearly shade right here. So I'm just going to be picking it up on a brush and applying it right under my brow to highlight that brow. Also taking this in the inner corners to highlight them inner corners. I don't feel like 
putting a liner on with this look I wanted to keep it more soft so I'm taking that same brown shade with the help of a flatter brush this time and I'm gonna line my eyes with this to get like a soft shadow lined look I'm also mixing the darker color in with it just to get a more defined look but not so defined you get what I mean right hopefully you guys do now I saw some fallout maybe because of the brush or whatever the reason that there is just gonna dust it off gonna apply the same shades on my lower lash line as well just the outer half though for the inner corner I'm gonna go back in with that rose gold color and just apply it on my bottom lash line for mascara I'm using this physician's formula mascara and I'm gonna be using this shade right here the wand looks like this so I'm just gonna apply it on my lashes and see how it fares not bad not bad at all it also has like a um, brown mascara on the other side but I'm not gonna use that today I'm just gonna be using the you know normal side Gonna be adding falsies off camera but first I'm gonna do my lips so I'm using this Victoria lipstick which I got off an Instagram page I would leave the link in the bottom bar for you guys So it's a beautiful dusty mauve color This is the shade BVD45 It's a matte lip color I'm gonna apply this on my lips I love the lip color It's quite smooth to apply, it's not irritating to the lips at all and it's nicely pigmented as well which is a good thing with that I finish another full face of first impressions I've tried to create as many different looks as possible for you guys and hopefully you're enjoying this week of full face of first impressions as well and yes this is the look except the starter which was pretty bad and then I like sort of you know manage my way through I think I've landed at a good place I really like how this rose gold look has turned out I've been obsessed and smitten with rose gold I feel this look is just so perfect for any day out or you know even a night party you can also add in a wing liner if you feel like and just you know amp up the look a little bit more but I feel this look is just very perfect and I really like how it's turned out so yes that is gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to comment and subscribe it would mean a lot to me and also don't forget to check out all of my other social medias which would be in the bottom bar as usual for you guys and I will see you guys next time till then take care bye it was like bye